Florida's West Coast is prepping for the worst of Hurricane Milton as the very last evacuees flee the central region of the Sunshine State. Now we have a storm chasing vehicle on the ground and that's where we find Asher Red this evening. So Asher, you've been out there on the roads. A lot of them deserted right now. What are the conditions you're seeing? Yeah, well, things are certainly starting to pick up, especially since last time I spoke with you. Uh, Milton is expected to spawn even more tornadoes than it already has in Central Florida. The National Hurricanes or National Weather Service, rather, already issuing over 50 tornado warnings just today alone. Now, Milton is expected to make landfall here in the next few hours as a strong Category 3 or a weak Category 4. Let me go ahead and show you just how barren uh, these roads are. This is what we're looking at. This is the uh, Wesley Chapel Land of Lakes area uh, just north of Tampa. The storm surge will be a huge concern with this storm, and that is what drove most people out. Uh, people are getting out of the way. There's, I believe, one car that I see out the windshield right now. Uh, just a few hours ago, the National Weather Service saying that parts of Florida's west coast are starting to see that storm surge roll in. It could be as high as 15 feet in some places, completely detrimental to those Bayside communities like Tampa and St. Pete. As for wind, we're currently seeing, uh, you know, the bands come in. Uh, it's, it'll be windy for a minute and then it'll die down for another. Now, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis says that Hurricane Milton is a storm so large that those who choose not to evacuate may regret their decision to stay. We are bracing and are prepared to receive a major hit. We're facing this with the seriousness it deserves, but also with the determination that we will get through this. Now I want to flip this camera around. I just turned it back to me. Um, we do have some wind rolling in. You can see through the palm trees, um, but also just had, this is another big concern. Um, people should not be out doing this. This is not what you want to be doing during this storm. Like I said, storm surge and wind. Um, going out for an evening jog is not really a smart idea right now. Um, again, people are taking this for the most part, if you are in an evacuation zone closer to the to the shore than where we are, people seem to be taking it seriously there. Here we have seen some people out and about as the uh, guy you just saw jogging behind our storm chasing vehicle. As for supplies, that is hard to come by. Back to you. Asher, thank you so much. Now we're going to keep tracking Hurricane Milton throughout the night tonight. You can download our WKRN app for instant updates on this storm.